So how much does my setup actually cost? I get that question a lot. So today I'm gonna be answering it for you guys. So let's get right on into this video. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the PC. My PC cost a lot. Most of it was my GPU, which I bought when the prices were high. And then about a couple of weeks later, they just went down. So I was kind of unlucky with that. To start off, my case is $165. I'm taking a look at everything on Amazon. So pretty much these are Amazon prices. For my motherboard, I'm using the ROG Strix B550F gaming motherboard. I got the new Wi-Fi version, so it costed me around $190. For my processor, I'm using an AMD processor. And the processor I'm using is the Ryzen 7 5800X, which is $243. By the way, if you guys want to check out anything that I'm going to be talking about in this video, the link to my Amazon storefront will be down below in the description. In my Amazon storefront, you can check out literally everything that's in my setup, so I would definitely recommend it. For my SSD, I'm using a Samsung 980 SSD that's 500 gigabytes, and I got it for 50 bucks. And now for my RAM, I am using two sticks of 16 gigabytes, so in total, I'm using 32 gigabytes of RAM, and that costed me $118. For my CPU cooler, I'm using a Corsair 150i Elite Capellix CPU cooler, and that costed me $180. And for my fans, I'm using six AL120 Li and Li fans, which for three costs $85. So in total, my Li and Li fans cost me $170. Inside my PC, I also have like LED strips. They cost me $25. And for my GPU on Amazon, it costs $1,861. All right, and in total, all the plans that are in my setup, they probably don't cost that much, but I'm gonna just round it up to like $15. All right, so that's pretty much my PC and all my plans in my setup. Also, I'll just add in coasters with the plans. A coaster is probably another five bucks, so I'll just in total at 20 bucks. And then like, I'll just add in the candles. I don't really use, I don't really know how much the candles were, but yeah, so in total all of that, just 20 bucks. All right, so for my monitor, the monitor somehow, I don't know if it's the right one. I bought this monitor from Costco and it says it costs $420 but I definitely did not buy it for that much. I would say I around, bought it for around like 250 bucks. Uh, yeah, and for my second monitor, uh, it's the Acer Nitro VG240Y. There's currently no buying options on it, but I think I bought it for over like 100 something bucks. So we'll just add in 120. I don't know how accurate that is, but. And for the ring light that I'm using, uh, it's a $30 ring light. And for the mount that I'm using with it, it's a Regatech mount it's 27 dollars for my headset i am using these like um like pads around it which are 22 dollars for my logitech webcam it doesn't show the price on amazon we'll just say 70 dollars for the logitech webcam and for the arm that it's on another 20 bucks and for the chair that i'm using the chair is 250 dollars i really like this chair i don't know it's pretty good for the price and for my mic uh, i'm using the blue yeti it's 130 dollars and the mount that it's on is a hundred dollars and then the shock mount was actually fifty dollars which i'm surprised the shock mount cost that much but it was from like the same company that uh all these three stuff are made from or the microphone and the boom arm so this is all uh from the company blue and for my keyboard to be honest i don't know how much my keyboard like actually costs because i have a bunch of different switches inside of it and all of that but we'll just say it costs around like 150 well, let's just say 150 i'm putting it on the lower end because I'm not really sure how much it costs. And for the lamp that's next to my blue compass, uh, that is actually 50 bucks. I got that sent out, uh, but it costs $50. And I also have a keycap, uh, like for my escape key, that's on my keyboard. That is $15. And for this headset, I paid $200. For my Elgato Stream Deck, I paid $120. And for my Razer Viper Ultimate, I paid $150. For my mouse pad, for the white top mouse pad that I got from Gutsy Aiden. It cost me $45. The Rollcat Burst Pro Air was $100. This is actually my second mouse which I got sent out and I really like it. For the mount that is holding up my camera, it was around $15. And yeah, I don't know what else is in my setup that costs a lot. Probably my desk. I built it so I don't really know how much it costs, but it probably costs around $100. I don't think it costs it. I don't think it costed that much. Oh, and also I have a wireless charger that's under my desk, which was around like $20. And I'm not too sure what else I should include in the setup because that's pretty much it, if I'm being honest with you. 
with you guys. I don't know how much my setup costs because I'm going to add up everything uh, while I'm editing this video. So yeah, I, I am actually kind of curious of how much it costs because yeah, I don't really know. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that is everything in my setup. If I didn't count anything, if I didn't count something, let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, let me know if you guys want to see me add up everything that's in my whole entire room. So my productivity setup, everything like tech related that's in my room, not like clothes and all that stuff because that does you guys don't really care about that but like all of my keyboards all of my mice and all of that and i'm actually kind of curious of how much everything costs so let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see a video like that all right so my setup ended up costing 556 dollars and that's kind of crazy and the only reason i'm able to have this setup is because of you guys so i really appreciate you guys and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video hit that like button subscribe and have a great rest of your day